11 July 1798, in preparation for the quasi-war with France, United States President John Adams approved the request by Congress for an act for establishing and organizing a Marine Corps, and it became law. The following day, the President appointed William Ward Burroughs the major commandant of the new Corps. During the American Revolutionary War, Adams nominated Captain Samuel Nicholas as a first Marine Commandant by a resolution of the Second Continental Congress on 10 November 1775 to raise two battalions of Marines. By tracing its roots to the Continental Marines, the U.S. Marines celebrate this day as the birthday of the Corps. Marines had been enlisted later during August 1797 for service in the newly built frigates authorized by the Congressional Act to provide a naval armament of 18 March 1794, which specified the numbers of Marines to recruit for each frigate. Under the 1778 Treaty of Alliance, the U.S. had agreed to protect the French West Indies in return for the support in the American Revolutionary War. As the treaty had no termination date, France claimed this obligation included defending them against Great Britain and the Dutch Republic during the War of the First Coalition from 1792 to 1797. France also viewed the 1794 Jay Treaty between the United States and Britain as incompatible with those treaties and retaliated by seizing U.S. troops trading with Britain. To learn more about Commandant William Ward Burroughs and the U.S. Marines' involvement during the quasi-war with France, please be sure to check out episode 13 for plenty more information. And as always, Semper Fi and carry on.